folks, welcome to the Harmonica Barge. Today's a good day, I've got another lesson for you on the amazing harmonica player Peg Leg Sam. I recently made a video called Play and Sing Like a Harmonica Hobo, where I talk about a Peg Leg Sam track very briefly. Do take a look at that if you haven't already. Now I could have sold out today and said use a C harp because everyone's got the C harp, blah 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 blah. But let's go with a B flat because Peg Leg Sam played a lot of B flat. This piece is also nice and warm with the chords and the B flat just sits nicely. This is a tune called One Mint Julep. I actually did a lesson on this a couple of years ago, but I've revisited it to look at the groove and we're going to get stuck in. So quick recap of the groove. I've got two chords and here's the real basic version coming up from those chords. Six, five draw. Sorry, the six was a blow. Five draw, six blow. Really simple, okay? Really simple, but it's all about the timbre and the feel and the groove. So when you hit those single notes, make them really clear. Try and go for resonance. Think about... That's the first bar and we've got a little response. Which is pretty tasty, I think. Simple, you know, simple riffs. Two draw chords. What's that? You know that interval. Mama, here comes the bride. La 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 la. It's a major fourth, of course. Which happens to be the four hole blow. And we're coming down on three draw half step bend. Make that tasty. Haunting. If your three half step bend is like, no, you know, it's not that great. Coming down, if you want to do a little bit of tremolo there as well, that's kind of cool. So I do have a much longer lesson on this and that's in my hobo series. Do check out that in the link below if you're interested. So put that whole thing together. So One Mint Julep, it's an old jazz blues song, and I guess Peg Leg Sam just took it from whatever version he'd heard. Think about with this, it's such a simple groove. The timbre of how you play when you listen to Peg Leg Sam. Very warm tone with those chords, you might want to try copying a little bit. Think about making the tone less bright. So if I go... You know, you might want that sometimes, but that's quite an attack, it's quite bright. If I cop... Much warmer, isn't it? Peg Leg Sam has an amazing story. He allegedly left home at the age of 12 and never really stopped moving. Worked as a shoeshine boy, playing harmonica on the streets, involved in traveling medicine shows. And he wasn't actually recorded. There's not so many recordings, which in a way I think makes him even more special as a musician. He wasn't recorded until five years before he died. And like a lot of blues musicians, they were rediscovered later, probably partially to do with the blues revival in the 60s and 70s. And a lot of people then got back into these older blues artists and they found fame in their later life, which is kind of sad. Maybe you'd say better late than never. And I actually only just found out, but he also played a lot with one of my favorite East Coast blues musicians, a guitarist called Pink Anderson. Do uh, check him out if you haven't. Really fantastic finger picking Piedmont style blues guitarist. got the groove there bouncing along. If you can make the pulse nice and strong, this is just one of my favorite harmonica grooves of all time. So to get started on the arrangement, I'm going to play the riff four times. This would be once. Okay, and again. Three. One more. One early morning I started walking. So you hear how I hit the chord before I started the line? And that actually displaces the vocal slightly, which is kind of cool. So it's like, one early morning I started walking. And then there's going to be two chords. 
And then the next line. Thank God I met a woman, I started talking. And then we're back in with the riff. But in classic peg leg style, and this is a real feature for me of his harmonica playing, a master of dissonance where you don't expect it. What's dissonance? It's actually a clash of notes. In some ways, it's harmonically incorrect, whatever that means. But <laughs> if you think of notes going together sounding really sweet, like if I played a chord here, that's not dissonant, all those notes go together. If I do a random draw chord higher up, that's dissonant. It's a clash of notes for harmonic reasons, which I don't need to explain. If you're a Bob Dylan fan, you might like that, but no, I'm joking. So, and what Peg Leg does in this space, he does two sharp chords, and that really gets your attention. It's like kind of sassy harmonica playing. So he goes, One early morning and I started walking. Like, what's that? It really gets your attention. You know, this is, well, early morning I started walking. Thank God I met a woman and I started talking. Then he's back in with the riff. Again, see what a difference it makes if you cop there. Think about the timbre, the dynamics. With that riff, I could play it really open. Or, less breath force, less volume, really nice and warm. How warm can you make those chords? I'm copying here. This is kind of my own weird cupping technique that I got off of <laughs> my off 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 my old harmonica mentor I've actually got my thumb over there and all the fingers are kind of locked and you don't have to do that with your thumb but if you listen a test of this if you release that and I break the seal it really makes a difference so there's a lot of timbre changes with peg leg Sam this is something that he does really well. So have a go at the riff, sing a couple of lines, try doing something dissonant in the space. You don't have to do that, you could do your own thing. In early morning I started walking. Thank God I met a woman I started talking. And then we're back in with the groove and of course in this longer arrangement It'll be riffs going into more vocals and then these mad kind of crazy riffs that happen and there's almost like a train emulation thing. So if you're new to Peg Leg Sam, I strongly recommend giving him a listen. Some great solo stuff, a wonderful showman of the blues and very distinctive style. And if you like this tune, do take a look at my 45 minute long hobo series lesson where I really break down the song. Uh, this is quite different to my other videos where I like to be very systematic in my approach. With this we're taking an informal listen, I'm giving you my take on it and then I give you a toolbox of a whole load of ideas so you can take some of the spirit and style of Peg Leg Sam and use it in your own playing and your own creativity. So thanks so much everybody, thanks for supporting the channel. I'll see you for another video very soon. Bye bye.